Um, I just finally want to uh, talk about some key design principles and just uh, come back to some of the things that I've, I've, I've mentioned. One of the key things, I think, about um, apprenticeships is that they need to be local. And we're, we're not going to be delivering, as a university, uh, higher apprenticeships anymore. We deliver in the School of Engineering the engineering one, but in future we'll be delivering through the uh, college network. And uh, because we've been working on the higher apprenticeship in business and professional admin, um, there are colleges all around London, Kent and Medway, and as far away as Guildford, who are interested in, 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 in working with us on delivering that. So what we're looking at is colleges delivering to their local catchment of employers. Um, and if they don't get the numbers, then the catchments have to be bigger, but they, 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 it is a local, um, local delivery. The university has been instrumental in developing the higher apprenticeship, um, validating the foundation degree, um, and doing the QA. But I don't think universities from 2012 are interested in numbers and growth and things like that anymore. I think we're moving into a completely different type of paradigm. And our ways of working with partner colleges, for example, needs to be different. Um, and we, there are some unknowns about like, where, the, where the numbers come from um, and, and, uh, and what do we do about that. So I think we're looking at a, 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 a different thing, but certainly um, local delivery is, is, is really important. Um, local marketing, the local relationships with, with employers. Employer consultation is, um, if, 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 you, if you start with a product and try and sell it to an employer, that's one way of doing things. And that's the way that education has tried to do things a lot uh, over the years. Employer consultation actually is, 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 is a completely different type of thing. It's, it's getting employers together and listening. And it's about hearing what they have to say. And rather than set, coming with off-the-shelf solutions, involving them in the development of, of the curriculum. Not involving them in the nitty-gritty of the validation and all of that, because that's the wiring that they don't need to be involved in. But they do need to see that the things that they're saying they want are in there. We're, we're looking at a macro-level employer consultation, that's getting employers involved, and we have been in, in, um, in, in, in all the higher apprenticeships that we've, we've been developing, in, in looking at, you know, is this, a, is this higher apprenticeship, is this something which you would actually um, value and use, and what sort of things generally you need to see in it. And then, on a more micro level, working with particular groups of employers, maybe around the college, and maybe uh, there, there, are, there are, with something like business, for example, you know, that covers every sector. So there might be certain flavours and, and specialisms that some employers might need. Like health might need a, a specialism in an, in an administration, uh, a higher apprenticeship on commissioning, for example. So um, we can work with employers to, 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 to angle the specialist units uh, for their own purposes. And we can also work with them in terms of the workplace learning elements, because they can be very much about business improvement and very much about investigating aspects of the workplace uh, uh, in terms of improving things, uh, or giving a certain uh, flavor for the apprentice to, to, to take up. In addition to employer consultation, important to consult with learners and the colleges in uh, we've been working with have been uh, doing that. On the one hand, it's marketing. It's, it's, a, it's, it's gaining their awareness of the thing called the higher apprenticeship and seeing what their intentions are and whether they had any thoughts about this sort of program at all. On the other hand, it's about, you know, is this something which 
they would be at all interested in? And what sort of inform more information do they need to know about it? And what do their parents need to know? And so it involves information, advice and guidance, and it involves um, uh, raising awareness, it involves uh, working with uh, course tutors, full-time students, for example, in, in the colleges. It involves um, people going into schools and raising awareness about higher apprenticeships there. So learner consultation, IAG, marketing, all, is all mixed up in there, really. When, when we asked employers, and we, we had focus groups with uh, chamber members, so small small firms, perhaps uh, you know, two or three people, to larger firms with about 12 to 15 uh, to 30 odd. Um, we, were, we, we talked to them about the likely funding and things like that. Um, loud and clear it came over that they wanted it to be flexibly delivered. What they couldn't afford was day release, that came over from the SMEs very clearly. Um, evening courses, yeah, great. Um, some employers, and this came from the health service actually, uh, that managers at departments in the health service would find it easier to give block release. So a two week block, several times a year, would be easier than every Thursday. And that's because they could treat it like holiday, so holiday cover rather than bringing in somebody for just one day a week for, for, for two years. So these messages were coming through loud and clear. Um, you won't be surprised to know that we would have bid in for this 25 million, not all of it, but... Um, <laughs> <laughs> and one of the things that we, we, we put that in for is to, is to, to help to develop um, online delivery of, of, of elements of this so that um, we can be addressing these 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 uh, concerns that employers have about flexible delivery and one of the things that um, I think if if it um, if, we, if we if we get if we're successful not with the big but if we're successful in, in getting colleges across say South East London delivering uh, the same higher apprenticeship then we can start thinking about master classes and things like that. Get get groups together on a Saturday and you know get pay, pay for somebody uh, in, um, motivational to come and talk to them about what's possible. So you know master classes and things like that can be also possible. And I said I'd finish with a um, going back to um, funding. I think it's really important that we don't. Um, involve employers in huge complexity about price and cost and fees and this, you know, we just tell them how, how it is mm -hmm. and this is it. Um, there might be some uh, ways in which you might be able to help your employee pay for this, but on the whole, this is it. Now I think, I think we've all been guilty in the past of not wanting to, not wanting to put um, a price on courses um, without saying, oh yeah, but there's this government subsidy here and there's this government you're going to apply for this and that and the other. And I think, you know, that's not how businesses tend to operate. <laughs> you know, when you, when, you, when you want to buy something, you, you get the price and you pay it. And you're not, you know, shown how, to, how you can help. Unless you're buying a house and they want to sell you insurance and mortgages and things like that. But um, so I think that um, it is very important that we're clear about uh, and have a simple message about that.